Hey Han, I'm Chloe and this is the Hello Boys or Hello World tutorial. My mission is to share my passion for pole dancing and make pole dancing easy to learn and accessible. This is the 14th video of the beginner pole trick tutorial series. In order to maximize your training out of all the videos, I highly recommend you to start from the very first video of this playlist as tricks will be the progression of the video before. The Hello Boy or the Hello World is a super, super exciting one. I know a lot of my students like this one, so we shall break it down. This video is mirrored for your ease of learning. I'll also have a red wristband on my right wrist and my right ankle to indicate the right side of my body if you do get confused of the directions. This trick tutorial is created for you for informational and educational purposes only and for you to enjoy learning pole dancing from the comfort of your own home. Please participate at your own risk and don't work beyond your capability and seek spotting or help when necessary. For any health concerns, please make sure to seek professional medical advice. Please also make sure to you warm up your body before you start this video. I have a warm up playlist depending on your level under the playlist warm up so that you can try before you do the tricks. If you enjoy this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up so that I know to create more of these kinds of videos and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't yet so that you are notified every single week I upload a video. If you're looking to further your pole journey and combining tricks and dance together, then consider signing up for my online learning platform, Pole Art Vault, where you put the tricks together into a combo and learning an entire routine with combos and dance together. You can find the link in the description below for further information. Without further ado, let's get into this exciting tutorial. Let's dive into our conditioning. With our conditioning today, we are going to keep working on our wrists and also with our pull out as we did in our Daphne tutorial. Now, if you haven't watched our Daphne tutorial, I do highly suggest you to watch this one because the Hello Boys or Hello World is a progression of the Daphne as well. Now, let's start off with conditioning our wrists. So, you're going to come onto your knees and then we're going to start off with rolling our hands out at a direction and then to the other direction. What's up, Brie? Good. Now from here, you're going to start flicking your wrist up as you clench your fist and then you're going to pull it down. So up and then down and then up and then down. She wants a little pat. And then last one. Beautiful, well done. He said, well done. Now, let's move on into our next conditioning. We are going to do um, our little bunny hops in this position. Now, let me um, show you so that I can face the side so that you can see a little better. So you're going to come onto your knees and then we're going to push into our wrist and our hand so that we can start strengthening it. So, you're gonna come onto your hands. Now make sure that your hands are in front of your knee and then you're gonna push your knee up and then down. Up and then down. So you don't have to go too hard on this one. All you have to do is gently push your knee up and push your bum up and then come gently down. So when you're coming down onto the floor so that you don't slam your leg on the floor, Think about landing onto your toes first. So push up and then toe down first. So we're going to do this four times in total. So let's go from the top. So hand in front, push up, land on your toes. Good. Two. And three. And last one. Well done. There is your first conditioning done. Now let's go into our next conditioning. It's a bit needy now. <laughs> now let's get into our next conditioning. Similarly to our Daphne, we are going to work on our plank pull-ins. So, you're going to stand right in front of the pole. Make sure that your legs are nice and close to the pole. You're going to get your hand in front of your chest and then make sure that you're not overwrapping your wrist. So you should be able to see 
the V of your hand on the same side of your pole. From here, you're going to pull yourself up so that your body is all nice and straight. Use your arm. You're going to hold for three seconds and then you're going to pull yourself back in just with your hands. Now make sure that you keep your core tight as well. I want you to not like relax your body, but keep your body very nice and straight. You're going to pull yourself out again. Two, one. Beautiful. Now we've got two more, four in total. Three, two, one and then pull yourself in. Make sure you control it back as well. And then three, two, one. Well done. All right, swapping your hand over to the other hand. Make sure it's in front of your chest and then pull it out. Three, two, one. Pull yourself back in. Good. And three, two, one. And then two more. Three, two, one. Beautiful, last one, three, two, one. Well done, and that is conditioning done. Alrighty, let's get into our Hello Boys slash Hello World. This is what it looks like. Alrighty, let's break that down. Now, in order to break that down, let's just try it from a seated position before we try it on the pole. So what's gonna happen is you're going to straddle the pole and then you're gonna sit on the floor. Now, once you're seated on the floor, you're going to wedge your bum all the way so that your cookie is on the pole. Now from here, hands go behind your back on the floor. Now you're going to start bending your knee out towards your shoulder, so coming into sort of like a wide straddle. And then from there, you're going to start placing your left bum cheek onto the pole. Now, when you're placing your left bum cheek, what I mean is that you're not like placing the pole right up your cookie. So you're going to roll your pole so that you are right in your bum cheek. So make sure you're facing your knee out and then you're going to grab the pole. So if your left bum cheek is on the pole, you're gonna grab the pole with your other hand so make sure that you're grabbing it in front of your chest or shoulder height. And then other hand goes behind you. And then you're gonna come into a straddle. I know it is quite hard to hold that straddle in this position. I feel that. And, and then you're going to try it on your other side. So this time you're going to place your pole in your right bum cheek, meaning opposite hand comes onto the pole. Other hand goes behind and then you're going to come into your straddle. Now, realistically, or like in the actual Hello Boys or Hello World, you obviously have your hand underneath, but if we're in a seated position, we can't have our hand underneath. So that is pretty much the position of where you want your bump to be. Now, as we've been working on in the past, like our sit, Layout, Daphne. Again, if you haven't watched those videos, I highly suggest you to watch those videos before you start this one because those are gonna be the good regressions of the Hello Boys or Hello World. So you're going to come into your sit. Once you come into your sit, you're going to slide your top hand down to where your shoulder is. Outside hand goes underneath your bum. You're going to keep your hip tilted and then you're going to open your knee towards your chest or your shoulder and then you're going to come into a straddle V. So you can try this trick static or spin, whichever you prefer. I just put my paw back on static so that I don't move around when I explain it to you. So you're going to come onto your toes, both hands in front of your chest. You're going to pull yourself in, 
into your straight leg sit. Make sure you keep your hip tilted over to the front, leaning forward. Top hand slides down to your chest. Outside hand goes underneath your bum, thumb facing up. From here, you're going to start bending your knee towards your chest and then you're going to open up into a straddle. To come out, you're going to keep your hip tilted, squeezing your pole with your knees or your thighs and then rolling yourself up. Well done. All right, on to your other side. You're going to grab the pole in front of your chest, coming into your sit. Make sure you keep that hip tilted, sliding your top hand down to your shoulder. Outside hand goes underneath, thumb facing up. Bend your knee towards your shoulder. And then you're going to open up into a straddle. To come out, squeeze with your thighs, grab the pole above, and then rolling yourself up. Well done. Now this is a quite a tricky one. I find that with Hello Boys or Hello World, it does take a few goes. So make sure you try it a few times so that you can really nail down the move. Now again, with the regressions, you can try the other videos, your sit, your layout, your Daphne, and then you can try coming back into this one as well. Now let's go through some tips and common mistakes. Common mistake number one, not sliding your hand down enough. So make sure that you slide your top hand down at your shoulder level or even lower if you can so that you can reach your outside hand underneath your bum. Now when you're reaching your hand underneath your bum, you're not entirely sitting on your bottom hand. Most of your grip should be in your thighs or in your bum cheek. So make sure that you've got the right grip point. You should feel the pole in right where your bum cheek is. So make sure that you get right in that right position. And in order to get into the right position, you also have to make sure that your hip is tilted. This is a really, really common one with this particular trick that you lose your thigh grip, or not thigh grip, your bum grip. So the reason why you lose your bum grip is usually because you're not tilting your hip enough. So make sure to keep your hip tilted the entirety of the trick. So instead of coming into your sit and then here, commonly what happens is you start bending your knee and then you start facing up. Make sure you keep your hip tilted the whole entire time. So hip tilt, hip tilt, hip tilt, hip tilt, knee to shoulder and then open. Now, other thing, if you don't bend your knee towards the shoulder, this is gonna be very hard to open into a V. So what happens a lot of the times is that when you're coming into uh, your open V, your leg goes like, I see some leg going this way. So you see how like my knee is not close to my shoulder? Make sure that your knee bends over to your shoulder so that you can open into a wider straddle. So when I say straddle, I mean, this is a straddle too, but it's not the straddle you want for the Hello Boys or Hello World. So make sure you straddle so that your knee comes towards the shoulder. And then that's gonna help you a lot more coming into the right positioning in terms of your legs. Now, again, you're not supposed to be like sitting all onto your wrist. So if you feel like all that, you've done all that and it's still not working, it might also be that you don't have enough grip in your thighs or in your butt cheek. So make sure that you get enough grip in your legs and in your butt cheek and that's gonna help you a lot with the grip. I usually like um, using shaving foam. And again, if you feel like your hands are sliding down, get some hand grip, get some, uh, wipe down the pole if you need to, and that should help you way more with the grip. Now, other thing is that maybe your thighs are not exposed enough or your butt cheek is not exposed enough. Now, this is one of the reasons why um, us pole dancers wear really skimpy clothes is because we really need that grip. So make sure 
that you wear shorts that you can tuck all the way up so that your side and your bum cheek is exposed and that's going to help you way more with the grip. Way more. Last tip. Once you come into Hello Boys into your V, you will start rolling onto the back of your thigh. What I mean is, when you're in your hip tilted position, you are going to be in this position. From here, you're going to end up sort of like rolling the pole on the back of your thigh so, so that you can sort of like grip or lock into the position. So you're gonna go from here and then you see how like I'm rolling, rolling, rolling and then I'm in my V. From here, you're going to roll back into your sit so that you can exit. And that's probably the next part of the trick that is quite tricky, is to come back into your sit. Commonly what happens is you end up um, coming into Hello Boys and I see a lot of like, like sliding down or you end up sitting on your bottom wrist, which is quite painful, um, which you really want to avoid so that you, get, you don't get a wrist injury. So let's make sure that we exit it quite nicely. So what's gonna happen is once you come into your sit, you're gonna lean forward, sliding your top hand down. So from here, I'll just show you from here. You're going to bend your knee and then we open this way. From here, roll back, squeeze your thighs together and then take your hand off and then roll yourself out. And that is the safest um, way to exit and also correct technique as well so that your wrist doesn't hurt. And that is all the tips and common mistakes I wanted to go through. Now let's talk about injuries. Now injuries is unfortunately a very common part of pole dancing. Now in injuries can come from all sorts of different things. It could be from overworking, incorrect technique, um, fatigue, or maybe you just um, fell, fell down from a trick before because you were slippery. A lot of different reasons. Now, my mission here is to be able to share information so that you can safely and correctly execute the tricks and techniques as well. And every single tip I've been giving you should be helping you in terms of getting into the right positioning. And right positioning and correct technique is super, super crucial. I know it is quite boring. Trust me, I thought it was really boring too. Until, until I got injured. And then I really realized how important it was to get into the right, correct um, positioning and having correct technique. I was injured, I got my shoulder injury and then it lasted two years. It was terrible, I couldn't do anything. And I felt like I was lagging behind because you know I really wanted to do all these tricks and I really want to avoid that and I want to make sure that you don't go through that. And that is the reason why I'm very, very strict with technique. And I hope you understand that and I hope you are able to enjoy your pole journey without having to go through any injuries. Thank you so much for joining me in the Hello Boys slash Hello World pole trick tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you in the very next trick tutorial. Bye! Oh my God, are you okay? Baby, oh baby, what happened? You just fell. Sweetie, are you okay? Oh baby, oh, you fell from the cat tree. Oh my gosh, that was a big fall. My God.